We have seen those paintings, Ariadne falling into a swoon on Narcissus's shore, as Theseus's ship disappears, dwindles, a dot in the distance. Or Andromeda, loose from her cliff, resting, exhausted. Or else some Thracian bacchant, utterly spent from her frenzied dance, collapsed on the greeny bank of the Epidanus. And Cynthia too seemed asleep, her breathing barely perceptible, head pillowed on her bent arm, as I staggered home sozzled from too much wine, and with sleepy servants, waving and shaking, nearly spent torches to brighten my way. In my not unpleasant haze, I lay on the bed beside her, reaching out for her as two warring gods reached out for me in their tug of war. Love and drink. Contending, but both agreeing that I should kiss her, insinuating my arm beneath her unconscious body, which I did, though uncertain what her response might be if her sleep was disturbed, having had samples before of her anger. What could I do, unable to move, like Argus gazing at Anastasia's daughter, the beautiful suffering Io, whose heifer horns were sprouting out of her head? I took from mine the garland I had worn, and put it on yours, arranging the twined leaves about your brow, sweet Cynthia, and arranged your hair that was spread on the pillow. An apple I brought with me, I placed in your hand, but your fingers let it fall as I leaned towards you. You stirred, sighed, and I held my breath. Was it me you dreamed of, or some other phantom lover, some stranger from whom you recoiled, who forced you nonetheless to yield to his ardour? Then, through the shutter, the light of the moon, that friend her lovers, penetrated to open Cynthia's eyes. She woke and raised herself, propped her head on her arm, and asked, Have you been rejected? Has some other girl slammed her door in your face so that you might come running to me? Where have you been all night? What time is it now when you come lurching in by the light of the last exhausted stars? Such a night I've had. I wish on you in turn, you thoughtless bastard. Let me know how you like it. I was up all hours weaving until I was weary, and when, at last, I began to feel sleepy, I sang my lonely lament, as sad as any Orpheus keened. Complaints about you, Tom catting around all hours in strangers' beds, until, at last, to mine, sleep came in mercy to bring his relief and closed with his soothing wings, my eyes, reddened, burning and ugly from weeping. What the fuck, system? <laughs> Sorry, let's... What's that? Over his ass. <sighs> We've seen those paintings. Ariadne fallen into a swoon on Narcissus's shore. As Theseus's ship disappears, dwindles, a dot it. <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> 